Hey, hi everyone. This is Dilip, and in this video, I'm going to share my interview experience at Uber, which I have given recently. Uh, so I have given my interview for SD two role. Uh, so basically, like uh, before ex sharing my experience, I wanted to share like how I got this opportunity, so that if you are someone planning to get into Uber uh, interviews, uh, you can do that. So uh, before getting this interview opportunity, I have tried multiple times applying to the Uber career portal. Uh, to get an interview call, but none of them uh, I was able to get the actual call from the recruiter. Uh, but after getting applying through a referral, I was able to get the call from uh, Uber recruiter. So I would suggest if you are someone who is like uh, uh, planning to give interview to Uber, just go with the referral approach as it is like uh, more suitable uh, compared to applying vi directly via their career portal. Now coming back to my interview experience, uh, so I have given my interview for SD2 role and for me there were total 6 rounds were there conducted. The first one was online assessment round. Um, it was basically conducted on code signal platform. This is like uh, similar to hacker rank platform only. Uh, the different thing was uh, in total there were like uh, 4 questions were asked in 60 minutes of time duration. So if you are someone who is kind of giving this interview, I would say be very quick uh, in terms of solving the question because you have only like 15 minutes to solve each question. If you are getting stuck in one of the questions, just uh, try to skip that and try to solve the next one. In terms of difficulty wise, I would say uh, the first three was more of easy to medium level. The last one was more of medium to difficult level. So uh, try to solve those questions and one another thing is uh, the expectation was not uh, to so uh, provide the optimal solution. It was more of like brute force solution uh, was able to pass all the test cases. So I would suggest uh, the solution which come first to your mind and you are able to uh, successfully run the example try cases and other test cases. Uh, so use that and try, try to go with that approach. Now coming back to the next round, so uh, that was more of coding DSA round. So once I uh, was given the first round of my interview, I was able to solve around like uh, three questions completely and the fourth one uh, partially. So I was able to get the call from the recruiter after a few days. Uh, he, he mentioned that uh, there will be uh, like a next coding round will be conducted, uh, which they called it technical phone screen round and uh, that was basically a uh, recruiter asked me one question it was more of a medium to difficult level problem and it was on graph based uh, uh, question and uh, he basically asked me to get uh, uh, provide the optimal solution so once i have provided the brute force he was like not uh, that satisfied so once i was able to optimize it using a bfs so he was more of like uh, satisfied with my solution and uh, uh, and he was like i think uh, there was some time left as well so he asked me to further optimize it uh, in terms of space complexities about all the things uh, that we can optimize and i provided some of the suggestion and he seemed satisfied uh, with that interview now after uh, next day uh, i got call from the recruiter that there will be uh, next four rounds will be scheduled for me and the first one was like uh, Again, the coding DSA round, uh, but the difference was uh, there uh, two problems were asked uh, uh, DSA questions. So I think it will depend on the interviewer to interviewer as well in terms of how many questions they're going to ask. The first one was fairly easy to medium level question. Uh, I was able to solve within 15 minutes that uh, the next question was a little bit trickier and it was more of extension of the existing question. Uh, so I was able to provide the solution for that as well and the interviewer seems uh, happy with that and i move forward for the next round now the next uh, interview was for low level design round uh, so if you are like given a, any low level design round then you have a fairly idea like what kind of question comes up there so he asked me one similar type of a problem uh, for the low level design round and uh, uh, in the initial 20 minutes i explained my uh, approach using UML diagram so what uh, specific relation those classes and everything will contain and in the next uh, 40 minutes I'll uh, provide an end-to-end -end functional code 
the uh, the main thing on this low level design round is the expectation from the interviewer was the code should be functional it shouldn't be just uh, the uml diagram that you are explaining or the model class you have built so try to be very specific in terms of your time so if you are uh, basically trying to include multiple things uh, for your low level design i would say avoid that uh, just do uh, uh, end to end make sure the functionality should be complete it shouldn't be a uh, partially uh, completed code and uh, um, and you should be able to uh, uh, that way you shouldn't be able to execute your code completely right so try to uh, code it in a such a way that within that 40 50 minute duration you are able to uh, end to end code uh, end to end uh, make a working code so yeah and after that there was a one high level design round so in the high level design round uh, basically the interviewer initially asked me like uh, what are the previous projects i have did uh what all improvement that i have can done in my projects those related questions and after that it was more of like uh, he was given me one problem uh like a uh, normal problem designing a youtube system uh, like that and he the expectation was for me to first analyze the non functional and functional requirement for that so i did that and after that it was more of like uh, uh more of like uh, basically uh, how much like uh, how efficiently i can make that particular system so uh, getting the requirements from him like how many users will be using that particular system applying cap theorem and everything so that way uh, making the end to end functional requirement clear and after that once the requirement is clear uh, then providing a high level overview of uh, what all resources in terms of uh, those things that, that i'm going to use in my system and uh, in terms of taking any kind of decisions uh, uh, like a sql database or a no sql database which one i'm going to prefer and why and uh, he was more in, not just interested into just the decision he was like more into uh, what kinds of uh, table i'm going to make for it so he Uh, went really deep in terms of whatever the decision I'm uh, telling you. So I would suggest like prepare very thoroughly for this round. Uh, usually it is conducted by senior engineers, so you have to be very thorough, and you cannot, uh, I mean, uh, mug up things from the I think videos and all. So I'd suggest uh, just go over like uh, one of the book like that I followed, Alex Zoo System Design Insider. That is a very good uh, reference for preparing for system design interview. So yeah. uh now coming to my next round that was uh, like a behavioral round and the question was um, mainly into like uh, uh, what kind of uh, different conflict scenarios that i have experienced uh, in my previous workplace and uh, it was more of like what previous projects that i have done so just be very thorough with your resume uh, and uh, just uh, like uh, i'll share one page with you so there are certain uh behavioral questions uh, that you need to answer in a specific way so just go over that page and it explains you uh certain question why asked in that particular manner uh and you have to answer in that particular way only so you can you can follow that page and uh this is not going to trouble you but if you go like uh, unprepared for this round and answered any mistake or uh, any like incorrect uh, answer like there basically there are like no correct or incorrect answers for these questions so it's just to understand your thought process like in particular scenario what you are going to do so now let's suppose if you answer it with your gut feeling and it doesn't uh, uh, articulate with the company's policies and everything so uh, that way it can result into a no hire so i would suggest you to just uh, go with the company's culture page like if you are giving interview to uber so go to uber's culture page and read uh, what are the cultural values are there uh, then uh, the page that i have uh, i'll share with you it has like uh, some questions like how to handle conflict scenarios uh, with during a workplace and uh, how to handle like uh, if you have a uh problem with your manager and you are not uh, liking your uh, work or the behavior wise so those uh, things you need to prepare accordingly uh yeah that's all about my interview experience uh thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye